Get him. That was a mistake. I was pressing, it said press X and Y to attack. I pressed them both, it didn't do anything. Hello Internet, welcome to Games Done Wrongish. Today we will be taking a look at the first two Xbox games with gold titles for June 2018. The titles are Assassin's Creed Chronicles Russia and Sonic and All Stars Transformed. Let's get to it. Assassin's Creed Chronicles Russia is the third and final entry in the Chronicles series. If you have been a Gold subscriber throughout the past year or so and actively add the games with Gold titles to your library each month, you will now have all three games in the series to download and play whenever your Gold subscription is active. This, just like the other two titles in the series, is a 2.5D scrolling platform beat-em-up style game set in the Assassin's Creed universe. You have most of the abilities you would expect from an Assassin's Creed game, which will allow you to shoot enemies, pickpocket them, create silent takedowns and more. Your main aim is to get through each level or area as stealthily as possible, by causing distractions or using your abilities and weapons to take down the enemies before they have a chance to spot you. Being spotted will usually end up in you being defeated and having to try that section again. The auto save function is fairly generous, for the most part, so you never really find yourself repeating too much again when you do make a mistake. The story in this game is the basic damsel or damsels in distress trope that is not going to break any barriers in storytelling, but it fills in the blanks between gameplay good enough to piece it all together in a nice little package. The game has 17 achievements to collect for your 1000 gamer score. The average time to collect them all is around 15 to 20 hours. Overall, I think this Chronicles collection of games is fine enough. I did get them all via games with gold though, and never felt the urge to buy them, so that can also speak volumes against them. But for free, via my subscription, I was fairly pleased with them. They are not going to set the gaming world alight, they don't even do anything that has not been done before really, however they are good enough to throw on for an hour here and there to complete the odd mission when you have some downtime. If you are getting a little tired of all the open world games as a service, multiplayer and battle royale games, then you may enjoy playing this instead for some laid back single player fun. While it's here, you may as well add it to your library anyway, in case you are looking for that in the future. Sonic and All Stars Transformed is a Sega version of Mario Kart when all said and done, which is fantastic. In gaming's early days, Nintendo and Sega were the main rivals with the NES and the Master System, followed closely by the Super NES and the Mega Drive, or Genesis, depending on your geographical location. Both companies kind of sidelined a little when the PlayStation came to take over, and Sega had completely bottomed out with the Dreamcast just before Microsoft jumped on board with the Xbox. Now the two heavy hitters are arguably PlayStation and Xbox, with Nintendo always nipping at their ankles, it seems, with innovative machines like the Wii and the Switch. We won't mention the Wii U. Oops, I just did. Anyway, Sonic and All Stars Transformed, that's what we're here to talk about, it's good fun. I only played the single player career mode mainly for this overview. I dabbled a little bit in the championship mode which is a tournament mode in which you gain points in each round and try to win the cup. Most of my time however was spent in the world tour mode portion of the career mode. Here you basically play through all of the tracks and modes on offer, unlocking them all for play later on in custom matches, single races and championships. The main aim to each mode or track is to win first and foremost, although if you are playing on easy or normal coming in third in the world tour will be good enough to unlock the next track or so. You earn stars for each medal type you earn. On easy you can only earn bronze so one star, normal two stars for silver and hard mode offers the gold medal and three stars. The hard mode does require you to finish first however and the AI is much more aggressive as you may expect. Just like Mario Kart, you are able to collect power-ups along the way that allow you to use special attacks such as sending an exploding homing radio controlled car at your opponents or throwing ice at them and turning them into ice blocks. You can also get items such as the blowfish, which you leave behind you to try and coerce your rivals into hitting it and crashing out, just like the banana or mystery block from Mario Kart. Whilst racing, there are a number of collectibles to earn from each track and championship. These may be simple stickers which are basically an in-game way of showing your past achievements or mods that you can gain and actually add to your car or character of choice to change up their stats. 
For instance, Sonic starts out all speed, but the balance mod can shave a little off his speed and apply it to his handling to round out his stats that way. The game has 50 achievements to collect for your 1000 gamer score. The average time to collect them all is around 30 to 35 hours. Overall, I am not offended by this game. Despite it being an obvious Mario Kart clone, I feel it's a welcome addition to anyone's gaming library that does not own a Nintendo. I would actually go as far as saying it's a welcome addition to someone's library even if they do own a Nintendo. If you like Mario Kart and like to play those types of games solo or with friends, then why not download it? They are better with friends, unfortunately though right now I do not have the time to sit down and play it with friends so my quick overview was solo only. I will keep it installed though so that I can try it out with my family when I get a chance to. I'm sure my son will love it, we may even get his mum to play a race too. That wraps up this portion of my games with gold overviews. I will be back in the latter part of June with the next two releases, so please join me again then. Also if you want to see my short playthrough of these titles, then stick around as they will be linked on the screen any moment. If you like this video, please consider watching another. Two suggestions will be on screen now. Also, if you have not subscribed already, please do so by clicking the icon in the middle of this screen. Every view and subscription will go a long way to helping the channel grow, and in turn will result in more content for you. Thank you, and until the next time, goodbye.